so in this app as we said earlier on we are using custom fonts okay so we're using custom fonts so basically we're giving you a way to download fonts from online and then use them in your project these are custom fonts so the first thing of course for us to be able to use custom fonts once we've installed the libraries that are required is to add the actual fonts we've created a folder known as the assets you'll find it in the of course in the project so if i come to show in explorer you can see the location of these assets okay just download any font from online as long as they're in the ttf format then of course you add them ultra now once you've added them we're then later on going to load them okay we'll load them in our we we'll load the fonts that we need to use in our project with the library that we're using we're able to apply different fonts across different activities and even across different widgets okay because that is actually one of the reasons why we're using it so custom fonts so another thing that you're going to find in this project that you normally don't find in other android projects by default is the transition animations that you're using for example suppose i come click the app that is our splash screen then you can see that slide animation as it gives way to this dashboard page from the dashboard page if i click the add it slides in this particular crowd page if i click list it slides in this listings page if i click an item it slides in the detail page it then slides in this page okay so these are transition animations that you are applying in our project across our activities now those animations you are going to add them ultra under the anim slide down slide in left slide in right okay so we add them actually we have these zones ultra so you can experiment using them so once you've added them in this particular anim folder then we go over to our styles that xml then you're going to find that we've applied them so first and foremost of course we need to wrap these animations that we're going to use under our style and then apply that style across our themes okay so this is how we apply those transition animations we don't really touch any java code so this is it the moment we do this one the animations are going to be applied of course in our activities so that we have these beautiful transitions now having said that we're also going to have two more other animations the fade in as well as the top to bottom now these two animation files we're going to apply them in our splash screen splash screen is this particular screen reader that is being shown okay before we open up our dashboard take note of the logo we are dropping it slightly okay let's look at it again it gets dropped and then take note of those two text views they get faded okay they get faded in so these are the two animations which we're going to load of course in our jo in our Kotlin code and then apply to those particular widgets so yeah guys these are our animation files okay so the images and shapes that we're going to use in this project we're going to locate them or we're going to add them ultra in this particular drawables ultra okay under this draw drawable folder so all the images that we'll be using we're going to add them under this drawable so any image that you see in this particular app those images of course we have them in our drawable okay that's where we add them now just another thing for you guys to take note of some of the images actually if you want to reduce the app size okay your apk size then the first thing you need to come to is this particular drawable and then try and minimize most of your images the images that you're using okay so before publishing the app you need to come right here and then use much much smaller images so that your app apk size does not end up being too huge okay yeah so the next thing we're going to come and look at is our menus so in this particular project we have several menus that we're using 
okay for example these are our toolbar menu router you can see we have the add and then the search okay so the menus for example in the detail page menu let's just start by looking at them in the xml code in the detail page menu we're going to have this edit slash delete okay as our menu item and in fact if we come right to the detail page menu then you can see we have this edit slash delete now show as action never that's why you're seeing that it's hidden by default so that's our detail page menu we also have the edit item menu so the edit item menu here we have three menu items update delete as well as list okay so update delete and list if we come over to this particular page to the editing page you can see them filter in action okay these are our toolbar menus then we have the new item menu if we open this card page for the sake of add adding a new scientist then you can see that we now have these other two menus return two menu items add and list last but not least if we come over to the listings page then you can see we have the add and search okay with the search coming first then the add following that particular search so if we come over to this listings page yeah you can see search first and then of course add so that is it guys those are our menu items okay we add those particular menus later under the menu resources